What up everybody, here's five mistakes that every new Marine seems to make. Number one, don't go out and buy an expensive car, especially a Mustang. I don't know why every new Marine thinks that he or she has to have a brand new Mustang, but please do your research. Like, don't go out and blow your entire boot camp paycheck and then some on a brand new loan to get a brand new car that's gonna break down anyway and look into interest rates. If you go out and buy a new Mustang that has a 25% interest rate and you just blew all the money you have on it, oh my God, that's, that's gonna give your staff sergeant a heart attack. Buy one that gets you from point A to point B and doesn't break the bank. Tip number two, don't wear moto gear everywhere you go. When you get out of boot camp and when you get out of MCT, you have the ability to buy a lot of moto gear and your parents are gonna wanna buy it, your grandma's gonna wanna buy it, your brothers and sisters, you're gonna wanna buy it. <sighs> Everybody ends up buying moto gear at one point in time or another. But please don't go spending like $500 on a sweatshirt and a t-shirt that says the few, the proud, the Marines. Because I've seen it happen where people spend five or $600 on this stuff and then they never wear it again. Truth be told, if you wear an Eagle Globe and Anchor shirt everywhere you go, other Marines are going to make fun of you so hard, so, so hard. And then years later, you're going to look back at those pictures of you and you're going to be like, what was I thinking? Just try not to buy too much moto gear and please, please, please don't wear it out in public. When you first get out of boot camp, you are extremely, extremely cocky and you get 10 days of what's called boot leave. Now, this is your time to go home and parade around in your dress blues and be like, look at me. I'm a badass Marine, but be careful. Cause I've seen it happen a lot of times where brand new Marines are on this. I like to call it like a boot high where they just think they're, they're invincible. Right. And then they go to the club or they go out to a bar and they get their ass kicked because they're extremely cocky to somebody that actually knows how to fight. Like, yeah, you know, your your tan belt martial arts, but that's not going to get you very far in a bar fight. So please, don't be too cocky. I know like that's really hard for new Marines not to do. Like I know you're a badass. I know you just got the Eagle Globe and Anchor and you're a Marine now. But but take like two steps back. Be humble about it a little bit. Uh, everybody's going to look up to you at home. All your friends are going to look up to you. They know you're a badass. Just, just don't be so cocky that you get yourself into trouble. When you get out of boot camp and you have those 10 days of boot leave, life is great. But then you go through MCT and your MOS school and all of a sudden you're like, oh man. Oh crap, I have to live in the barracks. I gotta deal with field days and random formations and everything is broken and my stuff gets stolen. No, this sucks. Like, why can't I just go live out in town? But a way of getting around that, and this is what a lot of people do, and it's, it's a bad idea, is go find a random girl out in town and just marry her so you can get out of the barracks. I shouldn't have to tell you why that's a super bad idea but it happens all the time. Dudes end up getting divorces. They end up losing a bunch of money. It takes a big tool out on your relationship and your mental health and just all this bad stuff. Like, please, 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 when you get to your new duty station, just don't get married right away. Like, enjoy the suck a little bit. It's not that bad. Like, barracks life sucks, but you don't have to go get married to some random monster out in town just so you can move out of the barracks. Like, trust me, it's a bad idea. Wait, and if it's... If he or she is the right one for you, great, go marry her, but, but not right away. Like not within the first like two weeks of meeting her. Okay. That's a big mistake. And for a lot of people, it doesn't pan out well. The last thing I want to touch on is how every Marine gets out of boot camp, gets out of MCT, has a little bit of money in their pocket and they think they got to go buy the entire Best Buy. All right. Like I see Marines are like, all right, I got $4,000. Let's go buy two Xbox Ones, a PlayStation 4, a portable DVD player, even though nobody uses DVDs anymore, three new MacBook computers, an iPod Touch, and a printer, even though I have nothing to print. A lot of new Marines never had to, like, budget before. They never had a bank account, maybe. Maybe some of them never even had a job. So all of a sudden, they have all this money, and they want to go buy electronics, but you can't really do that. Like, that's a good way to go into debt, to lose all of your money, and then just bad things come of that, so... Yeah, treat yourself a little bit, go buy a new computer, maybe go buy a new Xbox One or something, but don't go breaking the bank on brand new electronics because that's a good way to lose all that hard-earned money that you got while you're at boot camp, MCT, and MOS school. Well, that does it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my YouTube. 
Uh, you can also follow me at Clayton Philpo for Instagram and Twitter. And uh, yeah, keep coming back. Later.